I want to show you three attempts at a cornstarch foam that uh, I was trying to make for a little frisbee that I was trying to build. And um, this is to replace uh, the cornstarch. Well, cornstarch foam is to replace styrofoam so that you can have something that biodegrades. So this was sample one and um, it, uh, it it definitely has rigidity, but it didn't expand very much. So it's still really heavy and it's not quite what I wanted. Sample one um, is made of cornstarch and water and citric acid. And then I use the base soda to activate the citric acid and cause bubbling and I popped it in the microwave to desiccate it all but all of the bubbling sort of popped and it didn't uh, really retain any of its um, foam structure so it ended up kind of just this sort of bread type cracker um, and then there's sample two where I asked ChatGPT like what could I do with that foam like how can I make it uh, a little better or retain some of its uh, um, bubbling and um, it said it suggested adding glycerin so I added glycerin and this is the glycerin sample um, it's still about the same volume. It's definitely softer and and more cushiony. Um, and uh, and so some of the bubble structure inside is definitely retained, giving it that softness. Um, it almost feels moist, um, but not quite. And that's after several days of letting it dry out. So that's uh, sample number two. And then in sample number three, I asked ChatGPT to make it so that uh, make sure that it's rigid and that it, the bubbles um, are rigid and lightweight. Th those were the different changes that I made after that. And that created this one. It definitely has a skin. Um, it uh, it's it's a lot more rigid on the exterior, although in the areas underneath the skin, it retains some moisture, or at least uh, the what the appearance of moisture. So um, that uh, that didn't end up doing very well. So and uh, I'd like to t thank my Patreons for supporting me and uh, for being patient as I took a little bit of a break. And um, I'd like to thank uh, Anita Andre, Ki Sahaj Singh, and Matt Perez. As I was messing around with ChatGPT trying to get it to um, generate foams that were, were worthwhile. I did another search on YouTube, um, which I hadn't done in a few years for this type of foam, and I found a lab that did try and make a foam. Their foam uh, is cornstarch, glycerin, and um, well, they try a few, but cornstarch, glycerin, and um, baking soda along with water are the ones that cause it to grow the largest. They take that, they mix it, they put it in the microwave, and what it appeared to was to grow maybe three times the volume. Um, in bubbling. But when I tried their formula, I couldn't get it to do that. And I think maybe it's the wattage on my uh, microwave um, or something like that, but nothing I could do could replicate the result that they had in their uh, in their video. So I wasn't sure what they're doing. If anyone in the comments has any idea what to do, uh, please let me know. <laughs> Whether you're a chemist or a baker or, you know, a mechanical engineer or something, I will take any advice I can get. Um, and uh, I'm just trying to make a rigid, lightweight cornstarch foam. Thank you very much everybody and uh take it easy on yourself bye